Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. I got this package in the mail from DHL. I don't exactly know what's in it, so let's check it out. Awesome, I love seeing that. Although I'm wondering if they spelled my name correctly there, but it got kind of erased, so we'll uh, we'll let that slide. Oh, wow. Awesome. Okay, so we've got a couple things here. I've been wanting to check this out. Um, I got this one from, um, from Speedcube Shop. But this from Chi Yi. Let's look at this first. So this is the um, their sort of I yeah. So I kind of royally uh, did not understand this puzzle, and we're just gonna completely skip it. I'm gonna do a whole separate video because my mind was blown when I figured out how this puzzle actually functions and what it is. So be on a lookout for that video that will come out a little after this one because it is ridiculous. So we're gonna jump right off into the 8 and 15. Okay, episode. I'm putting that aside. Okay, so these ones, this is, Chi has done a really good job at doing this 8 puzzle and 15 puzzle, and they're actually called, you know, 15 puzzle and 8 puzzle. And what's really nice about these is they have magnets, so when I take out that piece, although I always struggle to get this out, there we go. I could probably flip it, but some of these other ones will fall. So I'm just going to scramble this one randomly. I don't have a set method for solving this. I don't know if there is is a popular speed solving method or if it's just kind of like putting one into place, putting two into place. I mean, I could see there being a thing like... Um, where you, you think of and you do have a few at once. Hmm. I think I did something bad here. Because I need to get that three right there. What if I did... Oh, that's a lot easier. Three. And then... There we go. Now let's just cycle these around. Four. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't practice this that much, but I've always really wanted to work on this. I've never done, or at least I have not done this 15 puzzle in probably about 25 years, I guess. I can't remember last time I did something like this besides something I had as a really young kid that had pictures but didn't have magnets like this that line things up. The magnets are really, really nice. They really click into place well. And because the pieces are curved, I don't feel like I'm like catching like that because these line up fairly well. Actually, for, for comp can someone tell me competitions that do stuff like this? If you've done a competition or seen one with a 15 puzzle, do you just bring your own 15 puzzle? Um, do they have set ones? How does that work? I mean, I could see this becoming an official event, although I know a lot of people, including myself, kind of would prefer everything just be twisty puzzles. Um, I wonder if there's supposed to be a set spot where you stop, like if you, there's supposed to be this open space after you scramble it. But anyways, I'm going to try doing a quick solve and see how this works. But these, these are really, really nice. So I'll just do one first. And then put two into place, and then three as well. So, oh, I could just move a few at once. Oh, geez, that makes it easier. That's going to be a lot faster then. Three, and then let's do... Um, wait, how do I get this one over here? Hmm. There we go. Four, and then I need to get five over here, and I can just move six as well. Yeah, I can't believe I was doing one at a time. That was awful. <laughs> this is so much better this way. Um. Hmm. No, I didn't want to do that. Actually, I think that was fine before, and then I did something 
not super smart. But I need to, oh. There we go, now I'm starting to understand how to move some things around. Nine, 10, and then I can move 11, 12, oh, 13 doesn't need to be there. Because now those two are swapped. So how do I swap these two? Ooh, I need to get basically 13 between nine and 14 so I can drop that down. So, like that, there we go, nice. I, I can see myself actually getting into this. I can, this, this is a nice enough, uh, this is a nice enough puzzle where I could really see myself enjoying it and, and finding different techniques for it. Yeah, I wish I knew exactly what to do. Um, thank you, Chi, for sending these out. Um, I know this was available at Speedcube Shop because I've already purchased it from them. Hopefully this will be soon as well as this one. Um, if you have any tips for any of these, let me know in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by, spe by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.